Pool 14. I'm going to check to see if this boat ramp requires a uh, parking slip, and it does, $5 a day. So looks like we'll find uh, the drop box and put $5 in and hit it. Okay, we're out in the water here at Pool 13, which uh, goes all the way up from Leclerc all the way up to about Clinton, about 29 miles worth of water. Right now, get our life jackets on, getting the lanyard on. We're about to hit it, uh, this little spot, this little backwater over here, uh, and see if we can catch any bass over there. Uh, looks like a lot of laydowns and wood and some barges and stuff to fish. So I think uh, we're gonna head out and see what we can find today. So apparently directly out from the marina, there is a dam that will damage your boat if uh, crossed uh, incorrectly. So I think we have to make our way down that way and get between those two rocks to make it out to the main channel. So right now we're trying to get the navigation on the sonar so we can make our way down to this backwater. Where's the main map at? Just keep viewing. Is there a GPS on? Yeah. We were only on foot right there. <laughs> It's pretty shallow. It was right there. It was only a foot. Now yeah, it's just foot. So we forgot a game plan. We're gonna start with throwing a square build today, a sexy shad, along this bank. Uh, it's mixed with rock and a lot of wood with laydowns. So hopefully we we'll get one out of here. First catch of the day up the square bill. Oop, little dink fell off into the boat. Little dink off the square bill. Probably throw him back real quick and see if I can get my lure back in the water and catch a bigger one. Already, huh? All right, we fished this uh, muddy, rocky bank with a uh, few laydowns on it and only caught that one little dink. So I think we're gonna head across the way over here and uh, hit these docks up it looks like there's a little more rocky bank and laydowns over there so switch it up and see if we can get on a better bite Big old drum. Did you get the net? <laughs> Gonna be able to grab his, grab his ass. Yeah, I can pick him out. Okay, yeah. Just grab him underneath his gill. You gonna eat him? <laughs> you got fire handy? No, I do not. It's a big old nasty drum. Fresh rotter drum? What'd you catch him on? Of course, a square bill crankbait. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna release him. Get this nasty guy out of here. He looks thin.
All right, life jackets on, lanyard in, navigation going. About to make our way through these rock piles so we can get out to the main channel. We finished fishing this pocket back here, this slough area. Fished both sides, the docks and the muddy bank over here with the, the wood here, the laydowns. Didn't catch anything with one bite. Used to spinner baits and uh, I think a jig and wacky and didn't catch anything. So we're gonna head out here and try to find some other spots. Today's been a tough day for us, but we're gonna run out the bank, go in the restroom, actually go look for some mushrooms, see if we can find any. Try looking for some morale mushrooms. Getting it tied up on the, on the tree. All right, let's get at it. What's this? Comment below on what animal produces this dung. I didn't think I'd be hiking it today, looking for mushrooms. Jared, did you find any? Not yet. Ugh. Oh, thanks for the divots. This is quite the freaking hill. Whew, can't breathe. <laughs> yeah, there's look like there's trails here, so. It's probably already got picked over mushrooms. Is it gonna tell you? Timing. Mid March to okay, April. The timing is critical. Mid March, all the way up to June. Oh. The key is to have a week or so with daytime temperatures in the 60s and at night temperature in the 40s. It's been a little chilly. It's sunny. Right now is the time. Looking near fallen trees. I think elm trees are the best to look for. Comment below if you see one. I'll send you a lure. Yeah, this looks like too perfect a place not to find any mushrooms, but I haven't seen any. You need a better trained eye, possibly. Yeah. This looks prime time, but we got fallen trees. We got fallen grass decomposing bark wood just not the right time unless somebody's already been through here <laughs> there's a lot of trails it looks like all righty what do you think we head back to the boat and head out okay i think we're gonna end the video here in the woods looking for mushrooms but uh for the fishing was okay we caught two to three dinks uh one perch it was looking kind of sickly caught most of them on the crankbait uh, we tried bottom fishing we tried uh, rattle traps tried a few different things a wacky rig couldn't find them so it's probably due to the water conditions they're really bad yahoo type colors so i think uh we'll probably come back again but not too soon so i think we'll probably head out and call it a day